Deputy Chief Secretary Dr. Faith B. Israel stated that the Executive Council cannot fully support the Tobago self-government bills because they exclude important details that Tobagonians have already declared as non-negotiable. She made this point while contributing to the debate in the Assembly Legislature on a motion brought by Minority Leader Kelvin Morris, which called for TH's full support of the two bills seeking to grant greater autonomy to the island. More from Candice Jackson. Chief Secretary Dr. Faith B. Israel expressed skepticism about the timing of Parliament's focus on the Tobago self-governance bills, suggesting it follows a pattern of past administrations using the issue as a gimmick to sway votes around election time. More concerning, she noted, is that the bills ignore key issues that Tobago once addressed, referring to the 11 non-negotiable items agreed upon at a forum in Signal Hill in 2014. Dr. B. Israel highlighted the absence of defined jurisdictional boundaries in the current bills. Water outside is because the document actually said internal and inland waters, which by any reasonable deduction means that the six nautical miles, for example, that the current Tobago House of Assembly Act gives us would have been taken away. The bills would guarantee the THA 6.8% of the national budget, an increase from the current minimum of 4.03%. Additionally, they propose the creation of a fiscal review committee to grant higher allocations if necessary. However, according to Dr. B. Israel, the committee's composition would not be favorable to the THA. The minister is already the chair. Sure, the vice chair would be the secretary, one other person from the THE, and two people from the cabinet. So we would have already had a fiscal review committee that already, they didn't even have to listen to us, Madam Presiding Officer. They could have already voted to say zero, zilch, nothing more for earlier, because that is what the fiscal review committee came up with. As a result, Dr. B. Israel asked the Bogonians. I ask those of us, all right-thinking Tobagonians, to not allow the promise of a little bit to be dangled in front of you while they are taking away all everything in the back of you and thinking that you are not smart. The Deputy Chief Secretary suggested that a better option would be to allow Tobagonians the freedom to decide how self-governance should function. We're basically saying, you know, some of the things we are going back and forth about, some of the things are not perfect. It may actually work better for us to just have a, a broad thing that says, Tobago, you have the authority to create your own governance and then allow the people of Tobago to come back and say whether it wants, for example, the people's house, whether it wants a, a Senate, whether it wants whatever those things are by caramel system. Dr. B. Israel then proposed amendments to the minority leader's motion suggesting that instead of fully supporting the bills, provisions should be made to allow for necessary adjustments. Candace Jackson, Tobago Updates, Television News.